YouTube. Oh, baby. How the fuck are you? Oh, it's a good day today. We've been waiting for this one. We have been fucking waiting for this one. Good news today, everybody. The weekly update is live. Bungie.net. Or, it's called This Week at Bungie. Whatever the fuck it's called. Not important. What is important is all of the juicy, 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 juicy information it's got for us. And, oh boy. They have finally... Finally, finally, they have finally outlined the future of Destiny, where we're going to be at this point, or not at this point, but at year three, probably, and Destiny 2. They've outlined Destiny 2, and I am happier than a pig rolling and shit. So, where do we start? Well, let's start with... Bungie announcing that there's going to be a significant light increase this spring. Uh, they didn't mention that it was DLC. They didn't mention that it was paid content. My uh, take from this is that this content is free of charge. I don't know this to be true. Uh, we still need a little bit more information, to be completely honest. But as far as I can tell, it's going to be a free content update. And it's going to increase our light level. It's going to have significant, and that was the, the quote that he used quite a bit, significant content uh, for PvE players and a significant light level increase. He also said that there was going to be new gear, new equipment, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, he didn't get into specifics. Deej did not get into specifics. It's very bland. It's very vague. But we have some type of a roadmap. We have some type of an idea of what to expect in the spring. Uh, he then also outlined a, quote, large content update, and this time he did use the word DLC, a large DLC content update coming this later on this year. He didn't specify when this year, just at some point later on this year, we're going to get a large content update, probably very similar to what the Taken King was. Now, it's going to be paid DLC, of course, he did use the word DLC, and it'll probably be, in my honest opinion and guess, is that this is going to be somewhere in the $40 price range, very similar to the Taken King, since the content level is going to be that of the Taken King. Um, in comparable form. Uh, is there going to be a new, you know, place like the Dreadnought was with the Taken King? I don't know. Nobody really knows. I don't even know that Deej knows, to be completely honest with you. But at least we know something. We know where we're going to be. We know what to expect from the game long term. And then, on top of announcing all of that content, which probably would have been fine, just those two things, just so where he, we know where we were going to be for the rest of the year, Deej goes ahead and drops another little nugget and says that Destiny 2 is in development, confirming numerous rumors around the internet, and that Destiny 2 is probably coming out, or, well, he said, he definitely said coming out in 2017, but I, I don't know about all that. That, that, 2017, it has to come out, I feel like, but maybe, like, year four of Destiny. So, right, like, September of 2017. Like, don't expect Destiny 2 to come out in spring or you know january february 2017 like a year from now like that's a little crazy you got to give them time to develop it plus they're developing all this large dlc and this spring update which is going to have it sounds like it's going to have a decent amount of content for almost nothing so that's pretty damn cool um that's just about it. The, the weekly update was incredibly short this week, but it was, you know, it's ironic how short the, con the update was this week, you know, but it had so much content, it had so much information, shit that we needed to know, right? Like paying customers, people who lock on and play this game every day that are getting sick of doing the same things over and over again, like we needed to know going forward, like where we were going to be with this game, where this game, you know, was going to sit. And now we know, now we have our answer. Now we can finally look forward to, you know, really playing the game again in, in a way that, you know, we can prepare for new content and new stuff. And, you know, we know what to look forward to. It's just such a refreshing, nice feeling of not being in the dark 
you know, is this game going to die out over time? Is Bungie just going to let us, you know, do what we want to do in the Taken King, and then that's going to be it, and we have to wait for the next game? But no. Now we know what's coming next. We know what is going to, the, what the future of Destiny is going to be. Uh, and that's pretty great. I feel great about it. I'm happy with it. Now, am I happy that Bungie took so long to tell us? No. But I think that there's a business practice going on here. I think, you know, they had their reported, Activision had their reported meeting with their uh, shareholders to let them know what the direction of the company was going to be and stuff like that. And I feel like, part of me feels like that was done on purpose because they had to tell their shareholders. It's just good business to tell them what's going on and, you know, how, how things are going to work out before they announce it to the general public. You know, tell the people who are paying for your game to work how things are going to be and then tell the consumer. So I think that had something to do with it. I think that's why we were in the dark for so long. I also think the firing of Bungie CEO, which recently happened, uh, had a big part to do with it as well. But what do you guys think? Uh, I... What do you guys think about this guy just floating here in the air? <laughs> that's actually... Oh, man. That, that actually would have been a better question. As the game is glitching and being broken as per usual. But what do you guys think about the content update? Do you, is what we're going to get in spring with the significant light level increase, is that going to be enough to hold us all over? You know? Is... our You know... Do you want to pay another $40 for another Taken King type of DLC? You know? Um... What do you think the new content's gonna be? Are they gonna recycle Vault of Glass? Are they gonna recycle Crota's End? Uh, they said new gear, but they also said just gear in general. So maybe, maybe it's gonna be a mix and match. Maybe it's gonna be some of this, some of that. What do you guys think? I don't know what to think. I'm just excited that we know what's gonna, what the future of the game is gonna be and where to go from here. But anyways, that's my thoughts. That's the super exciting news that came out today. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Leave, leave some comments in the uh, comment section below this video. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you want to. You really don't have to. Don't really care. Either way. And subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content, man. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Enzo. You are YouTube. And as always, stay classy, Internet.